The Parliamentary Committee of Trade and Tourism proceeded with the inquiry into the controversial coffee deal between the government of Uganda and the Uganda Vinch Coffee Company. Coffee farmers from different cooperatives have called for cancellation of the coffee agreement. They protested the deal, saying it's an existential threat to local companies which export and add value to coffee. The agreement that was signed, Mr. Chairman, it says Vinci intends to have a production capacity of 60,000 metric tons of roasted coffee. Of coffee, Mr. Chairman, in the country is 7 million bags of 60 kilos each. So if you do a simple mathematics, you will find that we are producing about 420,000 metric tons of coffee. But out of this total production, Vinci, according to their production capacity, will be taking almost half of it. One company will be taking almost half of the, of the entire country's product. This company is not opening, uh, operating in a free market. We have no problem. Vinci buying all the coffee if they are competing freely with everybody else. But if they are protected by government, by being given the first option to buy, the first option to export, then it means that all the other companies, all the cooperatives, are going to go out of business. Led by prominent coffee farmer Robert Kabshenga, coffee farmers dismissed the Vinch Coffee Company deal, saying the company is just masquerading as a coffee processor only to access Uganda's premium coffee for export. ...of processing instant coffee called freeze-drying. It's high-end. That is the one that consumes where you could go for the higher grade beans, what they mean by. So in coffee production, the highest quality bean you will ever produce is what is called screen size 18. That is the best for independent, for Arabica 18 for Robusta. And that is what fetches the highest amount of money in the export market and it's processed in a different way. So what this agreement should have said is if you want to take our premium grade coffees, the investment you should be making in the country is of freeze-dried coffee. The moment you go into that area, the money should shift from $80 million and start to go into the hundreds of millions of dollars. They even challenged the legality of the coffee agreement, saying the Minister of Finance does not have powers to give tax incentives to any company without approval of Parliament. Look at the tax exemptions granted in this agreement versus what Parliament passed in 2017. In 2017, Parliament consolidated all the tax incentives because before 2017 we used to have agreements bitcoin is an example but the government brought uh, a legislation to say that whoever needs tax exemptions and incentives please access them through the income tax act through the laws so and that's why i'm saying laws must be publicly prom promulgated you don't access incentives through agreement. The committee chairperson Mpaka threatened to wage a raid on Vinch offices to dig up all documents needed to beef up the probe. She didn't show up. Uh, she directed uh, someone to represent her, that is the company secretary. And I can confirm up to this afternoon the company secretary was at policy at parliament. He has refused to give us the necessary documents. We are going to process a search warrant go to their offices and take all the necessary documents we need. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.